Welcome Virgos. I'm back y'all with another video. Let's see what message we have for you all for the month of March. If you are new to my channel, welcome guys. I would love to have you here. Be a part of our community. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. As well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, all that information is in the drop box below. All right, this is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. If you have Virgo anywhere in that placement in your chart, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's see what messages we get. What messages do you have for my Virgos, please? Guys, don't forget to check out my website. All of that information is in the drop box below. All right, so let's see what we get for the Virgo. These cards are pre-shuffled. By the way, guys, I'm just doing a quick shuffle so you guys can see me shuffle on camera, okay? Virgo, Virgo. Give me a message for Virgo, please. Give me a message for Virgo for March 2021. All right, we're going to stop it right here. Ooh. All right. We got the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands. I'm getting a marriage here. For some of you, um, there could possibly be like a marriage involved with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Or there's some type of get together uh, of some sort. Let's see what's going on. I feel like you're thinking about, you could be thinking about this. Are some of you changing your mind? Okay, we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, and the King of Swords. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, Strength, Ten of Swords, Hangman, Judgment, the Magician, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Hermit, and the Seven of Swords. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? I get like you guys, someone can, is continuously, I feel like you guys are going back and forth about something. You are trying to make up your mind about something. Um, you're trying to make up your mind about something. <laughs> you're trying to make your mind up about a situation. I want to see. Let's see. Why is the two of pentacles here? Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Virgo like yourself. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, someone keeps bringing something up. We got the Ace of Swords, okay? So I'm hearing like someone keeps bringing up something. This could possibly be making you mad because there's too many people involved. Maybe you're wishing that you would have waited to say something because I feel like you're just tired of it's something that's on your mind. You're tired of talking about it. It's a lot of people involved. Okay, so it's like you're getting tired of, of bringing something being brought up. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. The Empress, okay? Empress. Someone's mother, baby mother, another female could be involved. Um, this could even be a pregnancy. So maybe someone um, is dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Why is the Empress here? 
Nine of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Let's see. Yeah, there's some type of betrayal or backstab or um or some type of ending that you guys could be regretting. Why is the Five of Cups here? The moon. You're spying on somebody. There's something about someone asking for something. Because we got the Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, okay? So I'm getting like you're trying to see if somebody's going to... Uh, I'm getting like there could possibly be a betrayal with the Ten of Swords and the Moon here. Why is the moon here? Tell me more about the moon. The four of wands. This could be about a secret uh, location, um, a secret, something hidden, a secret marriage, or hiding, keeping a secret from family. The Three of Swords. Wow. Oh. Somebody could possibly be getting... I'm getting a heartbreak of some sort. The Three of Swords. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when they find out the truth here. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when they find out the truth. Why is the Strength card here? Ooh, somebody got... Control issues uh, going on right here. The strength and the five of swords. Somebody got a big ego here. And that's the challenge. Somebody's ego is somebody beside somebody is beside themselves. Somebody got getting beside themselves. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, you're waiting to see if someone's going to change their mind or you're waiting to see if you're going to change your mind. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, didn't I say it? The Eight of Swords is somebody stuck in their head. Somebody stuck in their mind. Somebody's undecided about a situation, okay? And like a rejection or being left out in the cold. Um, someone here could be having uh, financial issues. But somebody here is stuck in their head. Why is the judgment card here? Tell me more about the judgment card. It's like somebody, you guys could have been wake, uh, waking up to um, the reality of a situation. Somebody is realizing that they have to hurry up and do something about something. Okay, the Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys just had some type of uh, wake up call and awakening that you need to hurry up and get something done. Okay, why is the Hierophant here? Tell me more about the Hierophant. Ooh, for some, there's a separation uh, here with the Hierophant and the Four of Swords. Mm, okay. You guys are tired. You guys are fed up about something. Why is the magician here for future energy? Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, Pisces, or an Aries here with the High Priestess, Lovers, and the Emperor. Okay? So some of you are making something very known. That you know something. Okay, that you're aware. I feel like you're very aware of something. But the emperor, this could be father, baby father, someone older. Could be a Gemini. Ooh, somebody could be working towards a business or owning their own business. Um, this could be work-related or dealing with a boss. 
somebody knows that their boss likes them. <laughs> somebody is also, I'm picking up as well, that somebody's their own boss. Okay. Now, why is, ooh, you got to watch what you say. Look, that just popped out. The Nine of Wands is literally, I didn't even get a chance to shuffle, but the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands is here. Be careful what you say or you feeling like someone better be careful what they say because something is about to come to an end. Ten of Swords and the world. Something here is about to um, come to an end for sure, for sure. And I feel like with the sun and the tower, you could be dealing with the Leo or Scorpio, but I'm getting like it's going to be a dramatic ending. Okay, like the way it falls, the way the cards fall or the way the cookie crumbles is going to be kind of dramatic. Okay. Um, somebody here is owed some money. We got the queen of pentacles, six of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. And you're trying to see, uh, you're trying to see if somebody's going to be cooperative. How this person is, oh, how this person is feeling. We got the queen of cups and the five of wands. So maybe they feel like there's an interference here, possibly with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now with the Ace of Wands here, this is starting an argument, okay? But they feel like there's something that you aren't telling them. They don't feel like you're being open. So they're going to wait to see what type of action that you're going to take towards them first, okay? So they're waiting to see this person over here that you're dealing with. They're going to wait to see what action you're, you're going to uh, take first. Now we got the Hermit in, um, and you guys' hopes and fears. That is you guys' energy, okay? I feel like you, I feel like you've been trying to communicate with this person. I'm getting like you give them playful vibes with the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands um, to kind of like fill them out to see where things go with that Two of Wands. Yeah. Six of Wands. I feel like you're playing somebody at their game. You playing chess, not checkers. For facts, for facts. Because we got you, you see, you see the bigger picture here with the Six of Wands. You see yourself being victorious. Now we got this outcome as the Seven of Swords, okay? So what's going on here with the Seven of Swords as the outcome? Ace of Wands. Somebody here could possibly lose hope or faith in the situation. Um, why's the Ace of Wands here? Three of Wands. I'm getting a lot of waiting around to see what somebody's going to do first. Okay, now, the Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be like a marriage or a relationship or something that you've been in for a long time. Or this could involve money. Somebody could be walking away. Somebody's walking away here. Oh, we got the sun. I feel like financially... Ooh, there's getting ready to be some type of ending. Somebody's getting ready to get cut out or there's some type of betrayal here with this. Uh, somebody's going to be really surprised at somebody's actions. Okay, somebody's going to be extremely surprised at somebody's actions. Somebody could, you could find out that somebody was being sneaky or being manipulative, being a liar. Um, maybe you've been waiting uh, waiting out and find out that this person was being sneaky or lying with the information that they, they put in front of your face, but I'm getting like somebody's walking away, but I, I'm, I'm also getting that, it, like I said, it could have something to do with finances, but I'm getting like somebody here is financially straight with the 10 of pentacles and the sun, but somebody also being surprised at the action that somebody took. Could be a fire sign. I'm picking up on Leo. I feel like you had more faith in this person. You had faith in this person. And you you waited you waited long enough. You've been waiting long enough. Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands.
Yeah, you waited long enough. You waited long enough, so now it's like, okay, bit. Bit. I feel like you guys have come up with some type of strategy on how to uh, outplay this person um, to where you come out on top, okay? <laughs> That's just point blank in the period. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, that information is below, as well as check out my website, guys. All right, if you're new, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? Until next time.